Lesson 14.3, Translations and Glide Reflections. Uh, I, I like to try and keep translations simple. Translation's a, a transformation with no multiplying. So like here and here, you see it's just plusing or minusing or you know moving it left and right. So the best way to do this is actually graph the whole thing. Um, I will put the graph on this side. And let's transform these. So P prime is 8 greater, that's 6, and 2 greater, that's 0. Q prime is 4 and 3. R prime is 9 and 8. And you can always tell if you've done it right. Um, I got my blue open, I'll do the, the P primes. So this is P prime. Q prime. And get a little tight on space. R prime. Let's put the original in. In a significantly different color let's go with green so negative two two is p negative four one is q and one six is r so we get this interesting little situation where the green one translates not transforms well it also transforms but translates best way to put it directly to blue so what's another way to describe translation clearly it's a vector you get those three vectors from r to r prime q to q prime and p to p prime and it looks just like three vectors remember it doesn't matter where a vector starts it's still the same vector so these are all same. You could even call it a vector r to r prime. And you could say it equals 8 comma 2. But just tying in old stuff with new stuff. So translation is really not that hard. You're just shifting left and right. And up and down. Uh, it turns out it's an isometry like we care. Notice I'm getting a little bitter as my notes get later into the year. Uh, but you can look at it and see that the green and the blue have the same shape, same angle, same everything. Just been moved over. And then we have something called a glide reflection, which is kind of fun to do in Sketchpad. But a glide reflection just gives you the idea of combining mappings. So you're doing them twice. I love to do feet, which I can't draw, so be prepared. There's a left foot, so I'll put a bigger toe here. Um, so a person <clears throat> steps forward and then they put their foot down. And then they put their foot down again, forward. And then they Step across again. So we have the glide part, which is really just a translation. And then the reflection. So glide reflection. So it's what we call composite mapping. Just do it twice. It's not that complicated. 
Uh, when in doubt, draw a picture. And uh, yeah, it's handy if you have decent artwork. Mine's adequate at best, but uh, at least you can see what's going on. That's it. Get to work.